to uh, CD or not to CD? If you've been asking yourself that question, take a listen to this. Ross Drake loves to come home and listen to his CDs. He's invested thousands of dollars into his compact disc system and has about 600 CDs. As for his records, they just gather dust. The record, first of all, uh, wears out very quickly and you'll get a lot of pops and hisses. It'll sound like Rice Krispies after a few playings. The other thing is you don't get the, um, you don't get the uh, frequency spectrum. You don't get the wonderful lows and you don't get the terrific highs like on the cymbals. When CDs were introduced in 1983, they cost about $30, while records cost $7 or $8. Today, records are $10 or $11, while CDs have come down to $17 or $18, and that's helped CD sales as well. In 1983, Ed Frankel had five CDs in his Record World store. Now, half the store and half the sales are devoted to compact discs. The main advantage is its durability. There's actually no physical contact with the CD. You have a light beam which translate the light, translates the light back into sound. So for one, you have no surface noise. Two, you don't have to worry about static or scratches on the disc. Plus, if the disc is handled properly, it'll be here longer than you or I will. It'll last a lifetime. It's worth the money. It's, worth, uh, it's really enjoyable. You don't have to always go to a record player and turn it over. With CDs, there's no degradation in the sound over time. And um, it's really nice. Like I bought a Frank Sinatra CD the other day. Even though it's in mono, it sounds great. It's a transition period for our business. I think if you go to the major chains, I think you'll see the influences there of compact disc. I mean, they're changing their whole store layout um, and the display cases and the marketing to, to uh, cater to compact disc. It all started back in the 20s with the 78 record. Then there were the 33s, cassettes, and now the CD. While cassettes are holding their own, it's just a matter of time before the vinyl record breathes its last gasp. 